Hello everybody, this is Gearsbot, and over the next few videos we are going to be showing you how to program it from nothing to a fully autonomous soda delivery robot. And it will be able to deliver soda cans like this by picking them off the ground, lifting them up, driving forward, and placing them onto a table about, or this box. So, so the first thing to note is that this robot has several subsystems. It has a claw that opens and closes based off of a motor, but it has no sensors to know whether or not it is open or closed. The next subsystem is the wrist. The wrist controls the angle of the claw, and it has a potentiometer, a VEX potentiometer here that lets it know what angle it's currently at. The next subsystem is the elevator. The elevator has a motor that goes up and down, and the 10 ton potentiometer that lets us know the position of the elevator. Right. So that's the 10 ton potentiometer and that's the motor. And then the final subsystem is the drivetrain that lets it drive forward and back. And it has a range finder to let it know when it is near the box. So now we can give it a one and see it run the autonomous. Hit it. Okay, um, so I'm here, I'm Brad Miller, uh, and I'm here with... Alex Henning. I'm here with Alex Henning, and with the two of us are going uh, to uh, write the program that goes along with the robot, which you just saw. Um, we have NetBeans running here. We just right-click on the, on the uh, project area, and we Good. select New Project. So, here we go. The New Project thing pops up. I'll just move that in where you can see it. Um, and you can see under FRC Java, there's a whole bunch of choices. So we've got like command-based robot template and, and a bunch of others. Uh, this is going to be a command-based program. So we're going to select that one and then say next. Okay, now uh, we need a project name. What's the project name? Gearsbot Video. Gearsbot Video. So we'll use that. And then um, project location will take the default. The project uh, folder we can take the default. For the project package, you can fill in whatever you'd like here and generally use the standard package naming convention, which is the kind of reverse domain name. So we'll just um, uh, make this be uh, Gearsbot, okay? And that will be the name of our package. And then the main robot class, this is the main program and it's the name of the class that you get. And we'll, what do we want that to be? Gearsbot. We'll call that Gearsbot. Okay, so, so here we go. Um, so you say finish. And as you can see, uh, very quickly after we have this project created. Um, each one of these little yellow things that I'm double clicking on right now are packages. And in Java, is a package is just a, a grouping of files where you put your where you put your uh, stuff. You can see that we've got the uh, uh, package edu.wpi.first.gearsbot um, has uh, three files in it. We'll just take a quick look at these. The first one is that main program we talked about, and here it is. You can see that it made a class called Gearsbot which extends iterative robot, that's just a base class that's part of WPI Live that will, will call you repeatedly during autonomous IntelliOp to uh, um, let you do the stuff that your robot needs to do to, to, to operate. And, and this, is, this is the whole program here, the main program. It also made something called OI.java. We'll look at this more later, but this is where you put your operator interface code. Um, so as we develop the operator interface, then you'll see that. Um, okay, this one, here, why don't you explain this one? So the robot map lets you store constants that are the ports that you plug in motors and sensors so that you have one place where you can look if like the wiring gets messed up, is the wiring right? It also means you don't have to remember where it's plugged in later when you're writing these subsystems. So so we just I just while while Alex was talking, I just went and snagged a robot map from a, a different version of this project for the little Gearsbot robot, and I think I copied too much. Um, so there we go, now it's working. And you can see 
that these are just all these constants that correspond to the ports that the motors and sensors are plugged into. Okay, and then uh, as, as we keep going, um, in this commands package that you can see here, there's a thing called command base. This is where all the, com all the uh, subsystems for your robot are initialized. Uh, we'll talk more about this later when we get to it. And then you can see there's two samples. There's example command and example subsystem. And we're just going to, we'll, we'll get rid of those as we go back. I guess we can just delete these right now. Or you could rename them to be the, the ones that you want to use. Uh, there's, you, can use you can just refactor and rename them. But I think it'll be a little bit easier just to get rid of them. So, so I'm just going to go to example command and we'll delete that. And it's going to cause some errors. So I'm just going to just let it do it and we'll fix the errors as we go because it's referenced in some of those other files. But you'll, you'll see that uh, as, as we go. Um, it's not really a big deal. Okay, so that's the, sam that's the um, uh, project as it was created. And, um, and then in the next video, we'll show you how to make some subsystems and start um, uh, doing more of your robot code.